Hey everyone, I hope you're doing so well. I'm coming to you today with a look that um, was given to me by one of my followers on Facebook. It does feature a very dramatic um, cat eye look with an electric blue eyeliner. I truly hope you enjoy. Please stay tuned for how to do this look. Okay, so let's get started. I've already primed my eyelid with Too Faced Shadow Insurance and just along my lid, not going past the crease, I've applied MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. For the first color on my lid, I am going to apply MAC Eyeshadow in Vanilla. There is a pigment in the same color, or by the same title, but it's not necessarily the exact same color. So I'm just applying it using a MAC 213 brush all over the lid, not going past the crease. Okay, now that I've applied the vanilla eyeshadow to my lid, you can kind of see that I have actually winged the vanilla eyeshadow out a little bit more. It's kind of going to act as a guideline, like for this eye. You can see I didn't go all the way down to the outer corner. I lifted it up and brought it in a little just because it emphasizes a little bit of the cat eye shape and I'm just trying to emulate what I saw in the inspiration photo a little bit more. So this is going to act as a guide and then also emphasize the sort of um, winged effect if you will. Now using a fluffy angled brush I'm going to apply brown script along the upper portion, sort of along the um, brow bone, going into the crease towards the bridge of my nose. So I'm going to start out here. As you can see, I have the angle, angle pointing upwards towards the edge of my brow, and I'm starting up higher a little bit more, and then I'm going to bring it along and slowly turn my brush horizontal, and you can kind of see the shape that it's taking on here. Now, I don't want to add too much color. You can also see that I'm not really going into the crease. I'm kind of grazing the upper portion of it. And um, with that, I'm going to continue blending this color out. I'm not adding any more to the brush. Okay, now that I have brown script placed where I need it to be on the brow bone, if you will. Yeah, it's pretty much on the brow bone. Um, and blend it upwards. You can see that I've gone quite close to the tail end of my brow, which is fine. It helps me emphasize the shape a little bit more. I'm going to take a pointier crease brush and use, I think this is Makeup Forever eyeshadow number 28. It's just a deeper shade of brown. We're going to add a little bit more depth into this color. Um, now I'm focusing on the bottom part, not quite going into the crease of the color that I just placed and I'm going to follow sort of the same um, shape that I created before and go straight in towards the bridge of my nose. As you can see it's just slightly enhancing the shape that I've created here and just blend it upwards into the brown script. Okay, now I'm going to go in with an even deeper shade of brown, and this is number 162 by Makeup Forever right here. I'm going to use a little bit of a fluffier yet pointed crease brush for this. I know I'm using a lot of brushes. Really, you could use um, one brush, just clean it off every time. I'm just trying to be a little bit more precise. Anyways, I'm going to tap the brush into this color here. And this color we're going to focus on the outer sort of um, half of the crease starting again at the base and you see how I'm concentrating the color here first we're building it up and then dragging it in about halfway through not all the way in all right now that I have all these colors placed as you can see I'm going to go back with the fluffy angled brush and brown script just ever so slightly tapping it into the color and then I'm going to go over all the colors that I applied here and kind of blend the colors out. Alright now we're going to go back into the vanilla eyeshadow using the same brush that I used earlier to apply it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pat this color back onto my lid to kind of clean up um, 
the lid area for any brown that may have fallen down and just wing it out again. Now I'm going to actually add vanilla pigment into the inner corner of my eye. Um, the picture, the inspiration photo is very matte and I just wanted to add a little bit more light because my skin is darker um, just to reflect a little bit more on the inner corner. So what I'm doing is I'm taking vanilla pigment, I'm just taking that little plastic insert and my tiny blending brush and tapping a little, sorry, a little onto the tip of the brush and I'm going to apply some into the inner corner of my eye. Okay, next, I have actually, this is the second time I'm taping this tutorial uh, because I had a really hard time creating the electric blue on my skin tone um, that we see in the picture. And again, as I said in the beginning of this video, you can see the inspiration photo in uh, on my Facebook page uh, and I've left a link in the description box below. What I've done is I'm actually going to mix colors. The first color is from by Hello Kitty. Um, it's a creamy eyeliner, coal eyeliner called Blue Sky. It's a navy blue. We're going to line our lower waterline, create a little point in the middle and then bring it up to probably the inner first quarter of my upper eyelid. Okay, so as you can see, I've created a rough shape uh, with that navy blue eyeliner. Now I'm going to go in with a Hello Kitty, another Hello Kitty liner called Blueberry. And I'm just going to go over what I just did with that navy blue. Now by mixing those two colors, here's the color that I get. Now to bring it to become a little bit more of an electric blue, I'm going to trace over this exact same area again using Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Electric. This is also going to help set it because this is a little bit of a longer wearing eyeliner so um, for me it'll help the eyeliner become a little bit more long wearing because the Hello Kitty color that I used before is not long wearing. Okay, now that I have this electric blue eyeliner applied to my eyes, I am going to apply a the dark brown eyeshadow to my lower lash line like I did here, and I'm going to stop kind of where my tear duct begins, um, just that area around the tear duct. So first I'm going to go with my little tiny um, sort of shading brush that I got from Michaels, and I'm going to go with the darkest color that I used, which was... Um, right here number 162 by Makeup Forever. We're just going to take a little bit onto that brush and we're going to radiate it outwards from the on the lower lash line and we're going to bring it straight in all the way to right there. So it kind of creates a shadow right underneath the eye. I don't generally like putting brown eyeliner or eyeshadow on my lower lash line, but for the sake of accuracy with the inspiration photo, I'm going to do it. Now in order to kind of blend this color out so it's not so harsh, I'm going to go into brown script, which I've already applied to a pencil brush, and just blend it right along the lower lash line. Okay, as you can see, I am now done with the eyeshadows and the main color on this look for today. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and apply a black liquid liner um, by Revlon. It's called Color Stay. Revlon Color Stay Liquid Liner in Black is Black. This is my go-to color. I'm going to apply this kind of beginning where this blue color ended on my upper eyelid and wing it out and follow the shape that I've created here. Um, I have done a very dramatic winged eyeliner tutorial which I will either link in the description box below or somewhere on this page. Um, and then I'm also going to apply a mascara to my upper and lower lashes and for this I'm going to apply 
uh, CoverGirl Lash Blast volume in very black. Um, the inspiration photo has false lashes, but in the interest of time, I'm not going to apply false lashes today. All right, and I will be right back. Okay, now that I have all my eye colors applied, I'm done with the eye makeup, and now I'm going to go on to my cheeks and my highlight and my lips. Uh, before I go forward, I just want to show you what I did with my eyeliner. I actually winged it out way more than in the photo and I think it's just helping me get an exaggerated shape because my eyes are so rounded off so this is actually going to help sort of create that cat eye effect I guess that the photo has going on now for my cheeks I'm not adding too much color um, I guess as a blush just like kind of on the apples of my cheek I'm going to apply MAC Skin Mineralized Skin Finish in Give Me Sun and then as more of a contour that I'm going to bring all around, um, I'm going to apply Sun Power by MAC again, and it's a mineralized skin finish. One's just a deeper shade than the other. For my highlight on the cheekbones, around the brow bones, bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow and chin, I'm going to apply Urban Decay uh, Baked Bronzer in Gilded. Okay, so now that I've completed my cheek and face color, I'm going to go ahead and apply my lip color, which in this case is MAC Lip Liner in Whirl. I'm going to apply this all over my lips. Um, I will moisturize my lips first. And then apply the lip liner and then go over that with uh, Lancome Juicy Tubes Lip Gloss and Tickled Pink. Okay, and with the lip color applied, I am now done my look for today, which uh, is an inspiration look that one of my wonderful subscribers and followers on Facebook sent me. I really do appreciate the inspiration. Thank you so much for your support. Please stay tuned for plenty more, including my next video, which is a big giveaway announcement. Have a fabulous day.